Hey, this is Dave, and today what we're going to do is we're going to make us some uh, make ahead burritos. And what I've just got here is some sausage, some flour tortillas, and some uh, pre cut up vegetables. Right. So, in my job as an emergency manager, I work a whole lot of 12 hour shifts, and I live an hour away from my work. So, that adds up to uh, long days. You know, a two hour daily drive, 12 hours in shift, you know, night shift. So, Anything I can do to sort of uh, make life a little quicker, a little easier, especially meals, is, is stuff that uh, is well worth doing. So I'm just mixing in some sausage. Some of this is my homemade sausage that I had of uh, frozen. I'm just going to add some strained tomatoes and then my frozen pepper mix. Put the lid on there. Okay. While that's cooking, what I'm going to do is lay these out on a uh, plate and microwave them to get them soft. Now that let this simmer for a little while on medium, and now I've turned up the heat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scramble four eggs in this mixture. Okay. I also have the oven preheating to 350. I have a baking sheet with a light coating of oil. And I've got a little cast iron skillet here with some oil in it too. And that's cold. I could fry these individually in the pot. If I'm doing it on the oven all at one time, make it a little bit easier. I just added some cheese here. Turn the heat down, and I'm going to let that thicken up. While that's happening, I've got a plate with my flour tortillas. Put a little bit of water in this, and I'm going to microwave it for about 45 seconds. Okay. So now what I'm going to just do is take the softened tortilla, coat it in the oil, Scoop in the mix. Hot. I'm just going to put it there. Since these are old, right, on both sides, we're going to put them in the uh, oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. Take them out, we'll flip them, and what it'll do is they'll sort of fry up a little bit and get hard. All right, here they are after 10 minutes. I took them out, I flipped them, put them back in there for another 10 minutes, and then when they come out, what they'll do is I'll let them cool, and then I'll freeze them just like this. That way, I can then pick them up and individually bag them. I could put them in a big gallon sandwich bag, take them to work, and since they were frozen individually, they won't stick together. And I'll show you that in a little bit. All right, here's the batch after we froze them. And all we're going to do now is just stick them in a Ziploc for me to take to work. And since they're individually frozen, when I stick them back in the freezer, they're not going to stick together. So then I can just reach in, grab a couple, throw them in the microwave, and have my supper. All right. And since I work 12-hour shifts, normally eat breakfast and lunch, or lunch and supper, however you want to call it, this will be about a week's worth of meals. And it only costs about five dollars or so, six dollars.
there we go. All there is to it.